Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? If you like having marmites with your brains, then follow me. Alright, starting off, I'm going to take Nivea Post Shave Balm and apply that to my face and my neck as my primer. Next, taking Snazru Turquoise, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. Now that you've gone ahead and applied the turquoise to your eyebrows and beard, go ahead now and take a makeup wipe and use it to clean up the edges. Now grabbing Snazaru Lilac, I'm going to clean up the edges of my eyebrow and beard once more and then go ahead and fill the rest of your face in with it. Alright, next up I'm going to go ahead and take Bella Pierre Liquid Lipstick in Antique Pink and I'm going to draw the outline of a brain on my forehead and then I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with the same colour.
Next up, I'm taking Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick in Flame of the Game, and I'm just going to draw on some patches of skin that have fallen off, and I'm just going to apply that directly to the face. Next, go ahead and take Wet n Wild Skinny Tip Liner and we're going to go ahead and outline all the details of the face. Now that you've outlined some of the details on the face, we're going to go ahead and add more detail to the brain, and we're also going to draw in where the nose would have fallen off.
Now that you've added those details to the face, go ahead and take Kat Von D Shade and Light Plum Palette, and we're gonna go ahead and take the Define Shade, and we're gonna add a little bit more definition to the face. Now that we've added that definition with the purple, I'm just gonna get a black eyeshadow. So I was looking through my makeup collection because I could not, for whatever reason today, I just cannot find my normal Z palette that I have all my good eyeshadows and I don't know what the hell I did with it. So I was looking through everything and all my black shadows that I basically have are either like not matte, they're like a velvet or they've got glitter or something that basically just isn't a black eyeshadow. So I found this palette. Now, I don't know if you guys remember these types of palettes and they come in different ones, but these were the OG eyeshadow palettes. They used to have tons of colors in them. And I remember when I used to do makeup on people and I used to do shows, I used to use this because it had so many shades and you know when you're starting out as a makeup artist or even with yourself with a makeup kit you want something that's got a lot of colors and these are really cheap I think they were maybe like twenty dollars or something like that so I remember buying it and um, using it because it was good because it helped me to understand different types of colors and different things of course now in hindsight you know we have much better companies we have Morphe we've got Sigma we've got Makeup Geek we've got way more companies that we can choose from but back you know 10 years ago we only had so many companies otherwise it was just like buy every single shade that Mac makes or Urban Decay makes which eventually ends up being pretty costly as you go along in your makeup journey you're gonna get more but anyway I just thought I would share that because this is the only matte black that I could find <laughs> in my kit so anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and take um, the matte black and this manly 140 or whatever odd amount of shades is in this palette. Throwback. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to join some teeth and part of the mouth that got ripped off. And then after that, I'm going to add some contacts, add a costume, and we will be done with this look. Alright, alright, alright. 
So this is my zombie pop art Bobby look, otherwise known as a British cop. And you know, while there are other pop art looks out there, there are other pop art zombie looks out there. I've never seen anybody do a police officer or a Bobby and I thought, what the hell? Let me be creative. Let me try it. So speaking of trying new things, I decided recently that I wanted to get into inline skating. Otherwise, some of you may know it as rollerblading. And I've always been fascinated by the sport. I used to play a lot of Jet Set Radio, Jet Set Radio Future when I was younger. And I always thought it was just so cool. And um, in the 90s, it was like really big to do it. But it just kind of seemed like it dropped off and now it's picked up again. And um, the thing is, when I was in, you know, in the 90s, I was a really young kid. So, of course, I didn't have anybody to show me how to do it. So I never really got the chance to try it. So I decided that I wanted to try it. However, I think we all know how it's going to go when I decide to go skating. Oh, Bert. Are you all right, Bert? Yeah. So regardless of that, I'm just going to try it anyway. So I'm going to give you guys an update later on and tell you how everything's going with my skating. And you guys are going to give me an update on how this look was for you. You know, I think sometimes as we get further into adulthood, sometimes we get scared to try new things or we become hesitant to try new things because we don't know how to do it or we're afraid we're going to look stupid or we're going to be bad at it or whatever the case is. And, you know, I think with me trying inline skating, I told some of my, my mates about it and they were like, oh, you're really going to try that? And they were actually really surprised with that. And um, not in a negative way, but in a positive way, because I think a lot of people just don't seem like they want to try new things as they get older. But I know that I'm going to fall on my ass several damn times, and I'm sure that I will have cuts and scrapes and bruises all over the place. But, you know, with these types of things, you just have to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, clean your wounds <laughs> if you have any and you know just keep trying again and it's the same thing with this look you know try it out and even if you're not good at it the first time keep retrying it until you get better at it i'm not perfect at it i'm still learning and you know i have a passion for makeup i have a passion for sports and just living life and enjoying yourself and i hope that you know, you guys out there are not afraid to try new things, whatever it is. Even if your friends laugh at you, if you feel confident about it and it's something you want to do, you go out there, you keep practicing at it and you get really good and then you just show them off and then you just say, shut up, you idiot. Don't be afraid to try new things, Don't whether it's a makeup look, whether it's a new sport, whether it's traveling the world, whether it's even moving to another province, state or country. Just go for it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. And as always, if you have any suggestions for types of looks that you would like to see, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a like. And I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. That all is all Hunter the King. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're the first to know as soon as I upload a brand new video. And as always, you guys, I'll see you next time. Bisous, mes amis.